Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for May 30th, read by Scott B. from Detroit, Michigan. AA Thoughts for the Day Unity Practically never have I heard a heated religious, political, or reform argument among AA members. So long as we don't argue these matters privately, it's a sense we never shall publicly. As by some deep instinct, we AAs have known from the very beginning that we must never, no matter what the provocation, publicly take sides in any fight, even a worthy one. We do not enter into public controversy because we know that our society will perish if it does. We conceive the survival and spread of Alcoholics Anonymous to be something of far greater importance than the weight we could collectively throw back of any other cause. Twelve Steps, Twelve Traditions, page 176-177 Thought to Consider Attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? Acronyms But Being unconvinced totally Just for today Messages from Mathematical Miracle. Finally, he found a basement bar on a quiet side street, practically deserted. He sat down on the bar stool and ordered a double bourbon on the rocks. Then the bartender stopped in his tracks, took a long, hard look at the customer, leaned over the bar, and said in a low tone, I was in Milwaukee about four months ago, and one night I attended an open meeting. You were on the speaking platform and he gave one of the finest AA talks I ever heard. For a few minutes, the customer sat there, probably in a state of shock. Then he picked up his money off the bar with trembling hands and walked out, all desire for a drink drained out of him. Chicago, Illinois, USA, came to believe, page 74. Daily Reflections Our Primary Purpose The more AA sticks to its primary purpose, the greater will be its helpful influence everywhere. A.A. Comes of Age, page 109. It is with gratitude that I reflect on the early days of our fellowship and those wise and loving four-steppers who proclaiming that we should not be diverted from our primary purpose, that of carrying the message to the alcoholic who still suffers. As Bill sees it, no boundaries. Meditation is something which can always be further developed. It has no boundaries of width or height or depth. Aided by such instruction and example as we can find, it is essentially an individual adventure, something which each one of us works out in his own way. But its object is always the same, to improve our conscious contact with God, His grace, wisdom, and love. And let's always remember that meditation is in reality intensely practical. One of its first fruits is emotional balance. With it, we can broaden and deepen the channel between ourselves and God as we understand Him. 12 and 12, page 101, 102. Big Book Quote Life will take on new meaning. To watch people recover, to see them help others, to watch loneliness vanish, to see a fellowship grow up about you, to have a host of friends, this is an experience you must not miss. Alcoholics Anonymous, Working with Others, page 89. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. I am part of AA, one of many, but I am one. I need the AA principles for the development of the buried life within me. AA may be human in its organization, but it is divine in its purpose. The purpose is to point me toward God and a better life. Participating in the privilege of the movement, I shall share in the responsibilities, taking it upon myself to carry my fair share of the load, not grudgingly, but joyfully. To the extent that I fail in my responsibilities, AA fails. To the extent that I succeed, AA succeeds. Do I accept this as my AA credo? Meditation for the day. Praise the Lord. What does praising God mean? It means being grateful for all the wonderful things in the universe and for all the blessings in your life. So praise God by being grateful and humble. Praise of this kind has more power to vanquish evil 
than has mere resignation. The truly grateful and humble person who is always praising God is not tempted to do wrong. You will have a feeling of security because you know that fundamentally all is well. So look up to God and praise Him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be grateful for all my blessings. I pray that I may be humble because I know that I do not deserve them. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box, 176 Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Scott, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.